when it arrives, the Galaxy S23 will have some big shoes to fill, but we are confident that, that Samsung can pull it off with its new flagship phones. Among these year's releases, the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Plus felt a lot more irritative than innovative, but the Galaxy S22 Ultra had, a, had no such problem bringing the Galaxy Note back to life. Rumors about the Samsung Galaxy S23 are just starting to pick up but we wanted to share what's out there. So here's what we have heard about the Galaxy S23 so far. This would fit with Samsung looking for alternative chipsets, even those from MediaTek rather than current partner Qualcomm. Obviously none of these are 100% confirmation, but Samsung might still be interested in improving its Xenos brand. We'd welcome this considering that the Xenos 2200 failed to meet our expectations, lagging behind the Snapdragon, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in our Galaxy S22 Plus benchmark tests. The only other thing we have heard is that Samsung might refer to the Galaxy S23 internally as Project Diamond. Previously, some thoughts this code name instead referred to a third floor level, but that's apparently not the case according to DSCC analysis Ross Young. There's a long time for Samsung to finalize some Galaxy S23 details, so here's what we are hoping to see. There's a long time for Samsung to finalize some Galaxy S23 details, so here's what we are hoping to see. Better battery life. The battery life on all three Galaxy S22 models is in a word disappointing. Even the Galaxy S22 Ultra with its 5000mAh power pack couldn't last as long as phones like the OnePlus 10 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max. The mid-range Galaxy A53 doesn't have stellar battery life either. Samsung needs to up its game with battery life. Shrinking the power packs from the Galaxy S21 to the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 was not a wise decision and obviously hurt both phones in testing. Better cooling. It's no secret by now that the Samsung 8 Gen 1 chip runs hot. This causes it to hit throttling problems, especially in intense games. Samsung also got caught intentionally throttling some apps to preserve system performance. While the move ultimately ended up as a shady or downright heinous for some, it proved one point that Galaxy S22 needed better cooling. The OnePlus 10 Pro features a new cooling system that makes the phone noticeably more comfortable after long gaming sessions than the Galaxy S22 Ultra. In my experience, we are not asking for something on the label of the best gaming phones, but the S22 can get really hot. We want to see the Galaxy S23 fix this.